my land, my Junub, my South Sudan, the world's youngest nation with potential for growth, enthusiasm and extreme hospitality. South Sudan's population is made up of 64 ethnic communities. This biodiversity contributes richness to our cultures. On the African continent, the South Sudanese people are recognized for the rich melanin and tall bones that set them unique. Greetings from South Sudan. My name is Asara Bulen Panchol, Miss Earth South Sudan 2019, and I am a product of Juno. This biodiversity extends to Mother Earth. This is the Boma National Park, established in 1977. It is a home for the white-eared cob, the tiang, and the mongala gazelle. Other large species are the African buffalo, African elephant, leopard, giraffe, plains zebra, oryx, hartebeest, and cheetah. This national park has a bright future in contribution to the South Sudan's economy as a tourist hub. However diverse it is, the species are threatened by the extinction and human beings. The most prominent species of the Boma National Park is the white ear cob antelope. A study reports that the white ear cob is found mostly to the east of Nile River in South Sudan within the clay plains and wetlands. Though occurring in substantial numbers in the Bauma National Park, it is reported to be found more outside the protected area. Its migration route and population during the summer and monsoon seasons have been recorded. Its migration route over the dry and wet seasons, which is dictated by the variation in rainfall and flooding from the year to year, extends over 1,600 kilometers. It encompasses different ecoregions in various tribal belts and exposes the species to hunting threats. The wildlife in this park has provided bushmeat, which is not only a dominant food need for many people of South Sudan, but also an avenue of illegal trading supported by wildlife hunting that has caused biodiversity damage. The park accounts for the greatest concentration of wildlife in the country, particularly of mammals. I have had the honor to meet South Sudan's government top officials that have guided me in my advocacies. Honorable General Kuol Manyang, Minister of Defense and Veteran Affairs, Republic of South Sudan, believes that taking care of the environment is our collective responsibility. Dr. Majanga God, renowned economist, says, let's kill two birds with one stone. While planting trees, concentrate on native trees like shea butter that will not only help in fighting climate change, but will also help in improving economy. Therefore, my core advocacy is vigorous environmental education. I believe introducing environmental studies to school curriculum so that a child grows up environmentally conscious is vital in changing the issues we have towards environment. Media is a powerful tool and with my mass media background, I intend to instill the five R's into my and the upcoming generation. Growing up, we should all believe in recycling, reducing, reusing, and above all, respect and rethink about Mother Earth. I want to be the next Miss Earth to create a friendly environment to the species that habit the Boma National Park as they are very important to biodiversity and help balance the ecosystem at the same time, create a special tourism hub for the South Sudanese people. My name is Asara Bulen Panchol, Miss Earth South Sudan 2019, and I am a woman of the earth. Saturday